everybody. Welcome to Down Home Diamond Painting and More. My name's Holly. Y'all pull up a chair, get out what you're working on, and we'll talk for a little while. Today's painting is Over the Rainbow, and it is by Elise DeBaya. This is a Dreamer Design canvas, and the size on it is, oh my, 30 by 30. So, y'all go ahead and pull out what you're working on, and we'll sit here and talk for a little while. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. Hope your families are all doing well. It has been a week around here. Let me tell you what. I think we have had the week that strikes fear in the heart of every single teenage girl in the world. And that week is prom week. Let me tell you what. This has been a week. This week we have done nails and we have done hair and we have done high-heeled shoes and we have done makeup and we have done boutonnieres and we have done corsages and we have done pictures. It's been a week. It has definitely been a week. I don't remember prom being that complicated when I went to school. I declare I don't. I do not remember prom being so complicated when I went to school. Yes, we had dresses and yes, we had all these things. But I really, really just don't remember things being so complicated. And Lord have mercy. This is my 17-year-old granddaughter's first prom. Her boyfriend's junior prom, so she got invited to go with him. And they have spent this week just planning and replanning and planning again and building up to today. I'm recording this on April the 24th. And she's at prom tonight. And I will tell you what. I think if this planning, this week had not come so that we could be done with this, I would be strung that child up by her fingernails. I declare I would. Because I think she has probably been more of a nervous wreck about this than I have ever seen anybody be a nervous wreck. She has just been beside herself. And in the course of that, of course, she's had all of us beside ourselves. Because every time we thought we had it all planned, nope, she would think of something else. Or something that we thought was going okay, all of a sudden, it wasn't okay no more. And of all of the things in the world to happen today, it decides it's going to rain on a day when they're going to have prom. And she's dressed up and wearing high heels and got her hair all done. And they have to go and meet the photographer in the middle of the afternoon when it's raining to have pictures made. Well, good Lord shined on all of that and kept it from being a total, total washout because this prom is being held at a farm. And it's being held in, of all places, the barn. So, here we are. It's a Saturday. It's raining. They're going to have pictures made. And they're holding the dance in a barn. Now, as odd as that may sound, this is one of two proms going on tonight in our little county. The other one is what they call the school prom, which I guess is being held somewhere. 
And the one that my granddaughter was going to, it was the parents' prom. This is the one that the parents started planning before they knew the school was going to put on one. So there had been a lot of money, I guess, invested in all of these preparations for them to find out that school's having a prom anyway. So they gave the kids a choice. They could go to the parent prom or they could go to the school prom. And they chose the parent prom because it wasn't going to be quite as stuffy, I think, is the deal. I think what they were told was that if they went to the school prom, that they had to wear masks and they had to, you know, have all this distancing and they weren't going to get to have a dinner and all these things. And parents, well, they said, well, you know, we're going to put us on a good prom. So they planned dinner and the kids don't have to wear masks for the whole thing and a lot of the parents you know just really preferred their kids be at the parent prom because they could watch and make sure there wasn't nobody's back in the punch bowl or any of the stupid stuff that well we did when we were younger and went to prom but i do declare i do not remember prom being this complicated <laughs> maybe it was Maybe I'm looking at it from, you know, the teenage point of view that it wasn't all that hard, but I'm quite sure I ran my mama and daddy crazy as loons getting me ready to go to my first prom. I think this must be one of those rites of passage, you know, one of those things that falls into some of the most important things that ever happened to a girl, you know, prom being one of them. Getting married being one. Having children if that's what they want being one. But we made it through the week. We're down to prom night. She's gone. Having a good time. She and her boyfriend are just the cutest couple. My granddaughter is. Of course, I am prejudiced. But my granddaughter is absolutely beautiful tonight. She is, looks just like a princess. And her significant other sweet boyfriend, he looks like Prince Charming. So, they're having a good evening, and I'm glad they're having a good time. I'm quite sure that all of y'all thinking on it can remember either your own prom nights, or you can remember getting your children ready for prom nights, or... In my case, grandchildren. My daughter never got prom. The school she went to didn't do prom. They didn't do things like that. It was a special school for special young ladies. And that was just not one of their things in their agenda. They had more important things lined up for these young ladies than going to dances and my daughter has done very well she's a nurse's assistant going for her certification as a CNA and the next thing she's doing is she's going to be an LPN so I'm really proud of her I'm proud of my granddaughter's I'm, I'm proud of my whole family. I'm sure y'all are all proud of your family, too, because we all know we got special people in our families. So, what's everybody working on? Right now, I'm doing diamond painting. Uh, I like doing other things. I like drawing. I'm not too good at drawing. I just do it because I like it. Not because they come out pretty. Uh, like... Adult coloring. We'll be doing some of that on the channel. And I like doing cross stitch. Probably be doing some of that on the channel too. But y'all tell me in the comments, you know, what kind of things do y'all like to do? And if it's something that I can try to include on the channel, I'll do my best to include it. I, 
I'm open to any kind of a suggestion here on something that you might like to see, something you might like for me to explore. Um, look, thinking about maybe we might look into some of these little felted animals. I've never done that, but looks like it would be fun. Looks like it would be really fun. But, wanted to let you know, I'm sitting here being all crazy and everything. My pen comes from homemade diamond paint and pens and more. Handmade diamond paint and pens and more. Excuse me. Um, they have a shop on Etsy. I'll link that in the description. And y'all can go and check in on them. For your very first order with them, if you'll mention the channel, Carol will give you a 10% discount on that first order. So, be a good way to check them out and save a little money. I really do enjoy using their pens. They're lightweight and they custom make them to whatever shape I like. So, you need to check those folks out. My tray, it comes from my 3D designs on Etsy. I'll link them in the box too. As I said, the paintings from Dreamer Designs. I'll link that one down for you too. This is one of their um, Try It paintings. So you can try their company and see how you like them. But um, we all just kind of sitting back tonight enjoying the quiet. There's four generations living in this house. Myself being the oldest, and I got great-grandchildren, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of folks here, a lot of noise sometimes, but grandchildren are gone, great-grands are gone right now, my daughter's getting ready to go to work, she works evening shift, and I'm just kind of Sitting here diamond painting, enjoying the quiet. I'm enjoying the evening. Weather's been kind of crazy around here. Been um, hot, and then it's cool, and then it's rainy, and then it's got frost. So, you know, it's kind of like Mother Nature can't make her stinking mind up what we're supposed to have. I mean, calendar says spring. And then, you know, we've had Easter, so Easter's supposed to say that we've got spring and trees are all blooming out. That says spring. And then we get another freeze. So, um, you know, kind of from one day to the next, I get up and go, okay, is the sun shining? Is it raining? Is it cold? What it is. Because this is crazy. It's really, really crazy. I know the weather's been kind of crazy around the rest of the country, too. Some of my other YouTube friends have uh, had snow, and they've had really hot weather, and they've had really rainy weather, so weather's been kind of crazy all over the country, not just here, not just here, but um, I hope everybody's just, y'all have had a really, really, really good week. Because I, I don't want anybody to be had a bad week. I don't want anybody to be having bad times. Hope everybody's, you know, good. They're healthy. Getting your COVID shots. If that's what you're going to do. Some folks are, you know, saying they just don't want to go get the shots. And I'm kind of like, well, you do the thing you do and I'll do the thing I do. And we'll just do our thing together here. And... You know, world situation's been a little crazy lately. And I'm just kind of sitting back and praying on that. Because, well, you know, a little prayer never hurts anything. Can't hurt. Some folks say it can't help. I figure, you know, if you do it and it doesn't help, wasn't no harm. And if you do do it and it does help, well, then good. Good. Well, don't want to run this out too long tonight. Don't want to keep anybody, you know, 
a great long length of time, but, um, you know, we've had a, a short little chat, and I figure, you know, you guys might have things you need to do right along now, so I'm gonna let you go and wrap this up for the moment, and we'll have times that we can talk a little longer and maybe have some conversation. A few of you folks respond back to me in the comments. Let me know what you got on your mind, what you're thinking, what you'd like to see, what you'd like to hear about. And in some of my videos, I'll be talking about the hometown I came from and the little town I live in now. And we'll be talking about all these different things. I'll be showing you some new things from different diamond painting companies, new things that I've gotten from some of the Etsy shops, and we'll just be going right along here together. So, y'all have a good week, and in closing, I'd like to say, may the sun shine warm on your face, may the rain fall soft on your garden, may love find you always. Come on back, we'll talk some more the next time. Bye, y'all.